So this next poem, I felt like, um, you know, because I've been talking about God and just the inspiration of, you know, um, being able to find power through faith. But I feel like there is also as much um, respect and validity in our confusion, in our negativity at times. These are all things that make us who we are. These are all things that make us human. And uh, especially as a writer, this is the juice that we, uh, that we create with, um, whether it be positive or negative. Um, so I'll let you decide how you fit, where this poem may fit. This is called 15. My heart creaked loudly like walking through an abandoned house. Floorboards brittle from tear-fed floods, faded pictures on the walls, memories. Some happy, some painful to recall. See, resolutions are hard to find here. An abundance of bitter silence, unanswered questions still, screaming down empty halls. Can you hear it? This air tastes stagnant like a lifeless stream long cut off from the ocean. These bad made dams, too much anger to just let things go, too scared to just go with the flow. Self made hurt repeating in cycles. And each time a new layer of dust falls on the floor, covering the footprints from those there before. My heart and its abandoned corridors just left empty. Some doors are too painful to explore. Why can't you just let it be? Whispered in my ear, I try, but these ghosts, they keep on speaking to me. Poltergeist of persuasion, fallen angels guiding me down the wrong path. See, avoidance is easier than acceptance. Illusion easier than deliverance. But how do you clean a haunted house? Thank you. <laughs>